strikes me to circle it back again and in in circling it back embodying something about dialogos um i guess two of the biggest challenges and shortcomings of christianity and perhaps aspects of modernity coming out of that as well but particularly christianity as i've experienced it is disembodiment and attachment to the propositional without relationship to all of this or the opening up of deep vulnerability without the appropriate and deep relation to boundaries. Mm. So you can be propositionally doing this to the sinner, or you can become so open hearted that you believe you are going to be the vessel. This person hasn't experienced love. I'm going to be the one who shows them what it is to receive unconditional love. And this is really, really hone in on this. Unconditional love is very often the, the belief which brings about the traumatizing toxic relational dynamic. Mm. I've lived this. So I'm saying it from a place of having lived it. The idea that you are going to be the one who is going to show someone unconditional love is very often tied to a failure to have healthy boundaries yourself. And when you fail to have healthy boundaries yourself, you're actually perpetuating the other person's dysfunction. When you have healthy boundaries, you have to do things which might feel bad. You might have to just not reply to someone. You might have to completely cut distance from somebody, but that is actually educate, ed educative to that person. And one of the sort of most important things that I've been taught by certain sages is when they've like really touched my life and then totally ghosted and like kept the boundary. Yeah. That was really relevant and important.